everybody, this is Jeanette from Body Quest Sewing Crafts. In this video, I am going to show you how I save my files after I, you know, design them in Essential Brilliance. Okay, there's two types of files that I always save all of my files under, which is a BE and a PES. The BE is a working file. The PES file is what I actually take to the uh, in to the, the SC1900 and I sew out. But I wanna show you what the difference is because a lot of people ask me, why do you even bother with a BE file? And I'm gonna show you why, okay? So I'm going to launch in Brilliance. And okay, I have my hoop here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have my five by seven hoop. Um, I go under in Brilliance Preferences Hoops and I'm gonna select my five by seven and hit apply. Hit OK and let me zoom out and I also want to be in the middle so that you guys can see the whole screen. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit so that way, um, ooh, that's a little bit too much. I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to pick a design and I'm just going to pick something real quick. Um, let's see, what can I pick? What can I pick? And so I always say I'm going to pick something quick and I don't. Um, Da, 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 da. Oh boy. Okay. Here you go. A deer. Okay, so I'm going to pick a deer and I need to make sure that it's a PS. Here's a PS. Pick that. Okay. Cute little deer, right? Okay, so let's say that I am making a shirt for a baby. I want to do this on a baby's onesie, right? Got the design. I think it's really, really cute. And then let's say I want the baby's name. So I'm going to hit the A. And I'm going to select the font that I want. And I'll just use this one. And let's say I'm going to put their name. And the baby's name is Nancy. Okay. And I'm going to put it right here. And let's say, you know, it's a cute color. I think it matches well. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave it like that. Just, okay. So this is the design. It's final. This is what I want, right? This is what I always do. And I'm going to zoom in because I want you guys to catch this, okay? Um, when I go to save, I always go file. And then I hit save as. And right here it says stitch and working. So I click there. And then there is when I'm going to say... Nancy uh, onesie, right? And then I'm going to save it. Now remember, I said I saved it as a stitch and working file, okay? Now I'm going to close this out completely. I'm going to do file close. And let me um, zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do file close. And we're going to start all over again, okay? Because I'm gonna, I want to open up those two files separately so that you can see why I like doing both. Why I like to save it as a BE and also a PS file, okay? So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open, and I'm going to look for, uh, let's see, options. There you go, Nancy. Okay, Nancy's onesie, okay? See, I have the two files. I have one here that's a BE, and I have one here that's a PES. Let's open up the PES. I'm going to open it here. Okay, now let's say that I am making a whole bunch of these, right? And somebody comes in and says, oh, I really like that shirt or whatever, but I want one for my daughter, and my daughter's name is not Nancy. My daughter's name is Gabby, right? So I go, okay, sure, I can make that, right? Well, guess what? When I go to click on here, right, um, I have my whole design. I have all my steps here. And then let's say I go over to the portion that has... Nancy, right? As you can see, I want you to look right here on the right hand side. It just has the color, the stitches, the thread. Okay. It does not give me the text box for me to type in a new name. So if I wanted to change this file, I would have to delete this whole name and then add a whole brand new text. 
that's how I can make the modification. But the thing is, you know, what if, well, I'll always have the font because it's my font, you know what I mean? But, you know, it just, I would have to remember that this is the, what was the font that I used here. And I don't think anywhere in here it gives you that information. Let me see. No, it does not. So the thing is, I don't know the name of this font, okay, that I used. I don't know what, you know, so I would have to guess or try to see if I could find a font that's close to it in order for me to change that, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the other, the other one, the BE file, okay? Here is the BE file. Okay, this is the B, let me see, yep, it's B-E, see, it says it right up here. It says Nancy Onesie's B-E. Now, I want you to pay attention really quickly. Now, remember, somebody said, I don't want Nancy, I wanted to say Gabby. Well, this is how I would change it. Click here, and I want you to now pay attention to what is on the right-hand side. It says color, letter, stitch, notes. It has the font. And then guess what? This is what's more important. Now I have the text. So now I can type my, the other person's name, Gabby, hit enter, and there you go. So it makes it a lot easier for you to make modifications to the file if it's in a BE format. Now, if it's in a PS format, then that means that it is what it is, and you can still make modifications, but it's a little more difficult. Now, the BE file is not what you take to your machine to stitch, okay? Which is why when I go and I save these, I save it as a stitch and working file. The file that you are going to take to your brother, 1900, is actually the PES file, not the BE. The BE you just keep because later on, if you have to make modifications to the design, it's a lot easier because it's still a working file. So anyway, this was a really short video and I just wanted to explain what the difference was between a BE and a PES file. You know, cause when you do, when you're creating a file, I really always tell people, I highly recommend that when you're saving your files, okay, that, and I'm gonna move this here, that when you are saving your files, this is what I always select, which is save as stitch and working. I feel that this is really, really good because you should always have a working file because you never know when you wanna go back to any of your designs and make modifications. And if you do wanna make modifications, you want them to be as simple as possible. So anyway, hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do. Um, and you know, I host embroidery happy hours every Friday at eight o'clock. And I hope you can, um, you know, join us and um, you know, have a great day and happy embroidery and happy sewing. Talk to you later. Bye.